Hi, I'm going to talk about why chords are called what they are and particularly what it means when you have the numbers 7, 9, 11, or 13 after the name of a chord. So first I want to explain that everything you see in a chord is related to the note number of the scale that belongs to that chord name. So for example, I'll show all of these in the key of C today. Um, the chord C is made out of notes of the C scale which is notes number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is the same as 1. <laughs> so, when you see a C chord, what that means is to play notes number 1, 3, 5 of the C scale. Here's the fun thing, though. When you see the other numbers above that, what that means is you're adding other skips above the C triad. So, for example, if you see the chord called C major 7th, what that means is to play the regular C triad, 1, 3, 5, and add the regular major 7th note of the scale, the regular 7. If you see a chord name called C7 without the word major before it, what that means is play a C chord triad, which is made out of 1, 3, 5, and add the seventh a half step lower. It's also called a dominant seventh. It's almost backwards of how you'd expect because when you see the the word C7, that means play the regular C and add, instead of the regular seven from the scale, add the seventh a half step lower. So that's called a C7 chord. If, you, if they wanted you to play the regular seven from the scale, they would call that chord a C major seventh, which means it's a C chord with a major seventh or the natural seven from the scale added. All right, feeling brave? Let's go up to the bigger numbers. <laughs> so, so far we've shown that the basic part of a chord is the triad, one, three, five. So if you see a C chord, that's what that means, play one, three, five. If you see a C nine, what that means is, hey, guess what? Let's play the top note of that chord will be nine steps up from your one of the chord, or your C. So it would be one, three, five, and since it's going to have the dominant seven and a nine. So what I'm going to do actually for a minute here is go back to just all the skips that you could possibly have in a chord. So chords can be made out of one, three, five, which is a triad, a seven, whether it's a major seventh or a dominant, nine, 11, 13. That's the highest number you can have in a chord. So if you see the chord called C13, what that means is you're going to be skipping up from note number one. One, three, five is your basic triad. Seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. So the highest number always assumes you're including all the skips downward. So a C13 means I've got a one, three, five, and I, on top of that, will have a 13 and also a nine, 11, also a 9, and also a 7, which most of the time with a 13th chord is a dominant 7. So they've lowered the 7. Now, why is that, that we don't have a 10 chord or a 12 chord? Well, I'll show you why. Uh, if you take the 9, 11, and 13 and put them an octave lower, you can see that with the 9, 11, and 13, combined with the 1, 3, 5, 7, you've used all the notes of the C scale. So that is why the only numbers you'll ever see on a chord are the name of the chord and either a 7, a 9, 11, or 13. And just a note for the advanced person here, sometimes the 7, excuse me, the, yeah, the 7, 9, 11, or 13 might be sharp 13 or flat 9, but they're still essentially the same number. So there you have it. All you ever needed to know about